So I've been thinking back about really what the biggest, uh, you know, announcements for iOS are from WWDC. And I think even perhaps bigger than widgets, uh, the nifty handwriting recognition on iPad, and even Apple's uh, big transition to ARM chips, Apple Silicon, I think one of the biggest announcements was found in two little slides. And that's changing default apps and kind of the continued you know, kind of lessening that uh, death grip that they have over control of, of different third-party services that compete with their own. I am happy to acknowledge that Apple makes some great best-in-class products. I'd say the iPad, the Apple Watch, the Pencil, maybe even iMessages all kind of fall into that, that class of top-notch, top-of-the-line products and services. But for every excellent uh, Apple product, well, there's a lot of areas where there's a, a good, good, solid competitor where it really comes down to preference or really where their offering is downright mediocre. Mail, I'm looking at you. So I was really excited to see Apple bringing this ability to set third-party apps as default, kind of this continuation last year where they would allow Siri to support devices like Spotify, um, where or Google Maps, where you can just tell Siri to navigate using Google Maps or play music using Spotify, and it works. Yeah, you have to explicitly say it, but I'm, I'm willing to accept that. But back to the third-party apps. So it's limited right now to just mail and browsers. Would love to see calendar be a, a default you could change as I'm, I'm just a Google Calendar guy, and that's what all my stuff is in. Uh, I know other people have said things about notes or reminders or podcasts, um, but uh, or even being able to use uh, music from Spotify as the default instead of having to explicitly say it. But um, they did uh, mention also that uh, third-party support on the HomePod uh, is also going to be supported, which uh, again is, is 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 exciting. So you'll be able to have Spotify play the music or Pandora or services that you choose to choose to link up to it and do that. So really exciting stuff to see. I know it is a it's a another good move uh, step forward. The Siri Kit uh, upgrades of last year in iOS 13, uh, where you could use third-party services with voice was a great start. This is a, a great continuation. I'd certainly love to see this roll out to more apps, especially the calendar. Um, but I guess at this point, I'll take what I can get. Uh, what do you think? Uh, are they? Do you like to see this uh, progress? Do you want to see more? What app do you want to see where you can make that your default? Let me know in the comments below. And uh, if you're liking these videos, please do subscribe. They help a lot. Or give me a like, a thumbs up, whatever. <laughs> whatever works for you. So thanks so much, guys. We'll see you in the next video.